next problem uh, this is a very simple problem normal conventional problem so a b c d are four masses carried by a rotating shaft at a radius 100 125 200 150 respectively planes in which the masses revolve are spaced 600 mm apart and mass of the b c and d are 10 pi and 4 kg respectively find the required mass a and the relative angular setting of the four masses so that the shaft shall be in complete balance no theta is given in question okay no theta is given in question that is the question so one important thing you have to listen here all the four mass values are given to you correct uh, radius of rotation spacing bcd one mass is not given but one important word you have to look here find the relative angular setting of the four masses so that shaft shall be in complete balance which means the system by itself is in balance you don't have to put a balancing mass that thing you keep in mind i will, I will rightly find out when it is important if the word carries the question carries a word complete balance what does it mean i will tell you later just keep it in mind okay so that i pointed out at that time when it is required i will uh, remind it so given data so radius mass everything you write down only mass a is unknown okay so next is the position of planes so the planes in which the masses revolve are space 600 mm apart all are 600 mm apart so i am going to the, reduce the scale uh, i am going to take a 20 times scaling down it is not really important here the position order of the planes is very much so for your understanding i am writing this 600 mm or a i am writing as 30 mm all the distances are 600 mm apart a b c d each has 600 mm in between so i am writing it as 30 okay 30 30 30 okay so this is a b c d so each space is 600 mm and i am taking a as a reference plane it is unknown quantity it is as a reference plane you can eliminate negative positive negative so there is a, there is no meaning for negative there is nothing on the left okay so this is 600 600 600 clear any doubts very simple straight away from the question i am drawing this right so now i am going to do the tabulation only then i can decide whether to do force polygon or couple polygon first so plane a declared as reference plane you have to note down the reference plane which has reference plane put it in bracket so mass is unknown ma radius of rotation 0.1 okay next is plane b mass is 10 kilogram radius of rotation 0.125 plane c uh, 5 kilogram radius of rotation 200 millimeter plane d 4 kilogram radius of rotation 0.15 okay so uh, second column and third column multiply and write it in the fourth column so 0.1 ma uh, 1.25 1 5 into 0.2 is 1 4 into 0.5 is 0.6 clear now distances from the reference plane everything is 600 but you have to write the cumulative value so second will be first will be 0 second will be 0 0.6 1.2 1.8 okay Point 0.6 1.2 1.8 everything is 600 okay so next one just multiply this this column multiply multiply this with this and write here simple multiplication okay so 0 into 0.18 m 0.1 m a 0 so this is 0 0.75 1.2 1.08 so count the number of unknowns you have one unknown here no unknowns here couple column therefore i am going to do the couple polygon first lesser number of unknowns that polygon only you have to do clear therefore i am going to start the couple polygon so uh, first of all the angular setting of the masses is obtained by drawing the couple polygon from the data given in table okay assume the position of mass b is horizontal a is unknown leave it so take b as horizontal okay so these are the values a b c d in proper order no changes a b c d clear so now i am going to start the diagram i am going to take a scale of 1 is to 5 i am going to increase the size by 5 times that is 1 is to 5 okay so 0.75 means it is a 3.75 um 3.75 okay so actually 50 times scale i use here 37.3 so take 3.7. This scale is actually 50 times. Please check. note it 50 times. So therefore, this is 37.5 millimeter. If you just take it as centimeter, then it is okay. Straight away you can do it. But I advise you to go with only millimeter. 50 times scale 37.5. So I have drawn a 37.5 line. So somewhere between 37 and 38 millimeter to a line. Okay. O dash, B dash. Since A is not there, I am starting with B from the center. Point center. Next step, 1.25 into 50 is 60 millimeter. Okay. 
so since the we don't know where is uh, what is the angular no angular position is given so what is the only way to go ahead here like what you do uh, last problem you have drawn two projected two lines and found out the intersecting points here no direction is available therefore what you do take your compass okay and take 60 millimeter net <coughs> 60 millimeter radius so so uh, c point 1.2 Put it on any one of the points, O or B, O dash or B dash, any one of the points, you put the compass needle. I am going to take the first 60 millimeter from O. Put the compass needle at O dash and draw an arc 60 millimeter length. Okay. Right. Next thing I am going to take the value of D 1.08 multiply it by 50 times, I get 54 millimeter. Put it at point B, the compass needle. Okay, whatever is highlighting there, that is your center of center of art and draw an arc. And the intersecting point is your C dash. Okay. So now you have to very clearly remember which side is what. So C arc was drawn from O dash side. D arc was drawn from B dash side. That corresponding uh, lengths you have to mark on the side so that you can avoid them. Join these two things and mark the. Uh, so I will tell you why I have drawn these arrows in the same sense. Just first mark the distances otherwise you will get confused. The longer one, 1.2 is from C, shorter one is from B. I mean, O dash to C dash is 1.2. Whatever arc you have drawn, that distance you write. Okay. 60 millimeter arc you write 1.2. 50, uh, 54 millimeter arc you write 1.08. Okay. So now, why did I put these arrow marks in the same sense? Normally, we put the arrow mark of the closing side in the opposite sense. But here, you have put the same sense. I have started from here. Okay. This way. So, it turns up this way. And it ends this way. Normally, we used to do in the opposite sense. This is where you have to remember the shaft is in complete balance. No need of any external balancing mass. It itself is in complete balance. In such a word, if you find in the question, then arrow mass should be in the same direction. Clear? Given in the final thing. Everywhere. If a word, a question carries a word, shaft is in complete balance, then no opposite direction arrow mass you should draw. Everything is in the same direction. Clear? That is the only key thing I wanted to highlight. So that, that I have completed now. Okay. So what is the use of this diagram? Already you know all the values. The use of this diagram is the angular position. Clear? You don't know any theta. Now you are going to do the angular position. Only now you are going to do the angular position diagram. Okay. So sir, I already know all the values. What is the use of doing this diagram? You don't have any theta value. So that you are going to use. So how to know whether which is A, B, C, D here? A is totally eliminated. A is not here. Okay. So B. Which is the point sound file line? That is the direction of B. Which is the 1.2 line? That is the direction of C. Which is the 1.08 line? That is the direction of D. Okay? Right. So now with this in mind, I am going to do the angular position diagram. Updation of the angular position diagram. So take this polygon. Start doing the angular position. So horizontal is B. I told earlier. Okay. So then uh, this is your D direction. Correct? Mark as mass D. Because 1.08 is the couple value of D. This angle belongs to C. Okay. So, mark the angles. Measure the angle. Since you don't know the values, you have just transferred the scale. Measure it and write now. It's a 100 degree. So, from 0 to 100 degree. So, this 180 plus 60 degree. So, it comes around 240 degree. So, that's the preliminary angular position diagram. Now, with this value, I am going to do the force polygon. And identify the value of mass A and angular position of A. Clear up to this. Now I am moving on. Force polygon. Take this angular position diagram as a reference. Take the force column as a reference. So I am, I am just skipping the first cell alone. Going to the second cell 1.25. Take some 50 scale. Okay. So 1.25 into 50 62.5. Take the scale and transfer this direction. 62.5 millimeters you draw a line. So pointing direction is from center towards the outward pointing mass. So that is your direction. Put the arrow mark here. O, B, direction. Next, take your scale 1.25. Okay. Next is a 50 scale. One, 1 is 50. So 50 millimeter line I am going to do in D direction. Take the scale, transfer it. 50 millimeter, you mark a point, do a line. Direction is upward pointing towards the mass. In this case, from center towards the mass is the arrow mark. Upward pointing arrow mark here. C and the distance is 1. Next thing, transfer. 0.6 is the fourth value in the uh, table. Okay. So, 0.6 into 50 is 30 millimeter. Direction is C direction. So, put your scale here and 30 millimeter line. 
you move here and do a 30 millimeter line direction outward pointing towards the mass in, in this case it will come in a downward pointing direction okay so downward doesn't mean it is negative always pointing towards the mass so closing side of the polygon is your mass a okay so this problem is very, uh, many times has been university exam very simple problem okay so in the same sense here also since your question reads incomplete balance question or word complete balance so therefore you should not take the reversal same direction you have to take okay so now with this i am going to measure the magnitude it comes somewhere around 35 millimeter so i am going to reverse the scale 50 times okay so 35 by 50 is 0 0.7 scale reversal therefore uh, 0.1 ma is 0.7 so this is equal to so whatever uh, length of that od vector is equal to what is the cell table value 0.1 ma was in the first cell of the table so 0.1 ma equal to 0.7 therefore mass is 7 kilogram clear so now i am going to update so mass of a magnitude of mass of a is 7 kilogram i'm going to update the angular position diagram with this take the uh, angular position diagram and move this direction and put a line no opposite direction here it is in complete balance therefore same direction same sense of direction whatever direction is in the diagram you transfer so that is your mass a position now take your protractor and measure the angle 180 plus some 35 okay so it comes around 208 degree some value okay so whatever the value you measure it carefully with the protractor from the horizontal line and add it to 180 degree so it comes around 208 degree clear so that completes the problem the summation of results magnitude of mass a is 7 kilogram direction of mass is 208 degree uh, and no other uh, all the theta are also to be listed as an answer here so theta from a to b b to c is 100 degree theta from c to d is to uh, uh, let's go back and see all those things you have to write as answer because it is not given in question so 100 degree to 240 degree you write like this included angle uh, included angle b o c is 100 b o d is 240 and b o a is 208 that is also the result you have to because now it is not given in question you have found it out so that i have not done here you write it in your notebook so all those things are the results so this is taken from your kurmi textbook problem 21.5